Hey, what's up, guys? Breaking back again. Just uh, catching the Miami Indiana game right now. Uh, got a quick pickup today. Uh, my buddy of mine picked this up from work. A pair of Pure Boost. Uh, official colorway is just black, running white, and I have no idea what that is. Something gray? You guys tell me. I'm not really sure what black one means either. But anyway, here is the style code if you're interested at all. And uh, let's get right into it. So I got my buddy to pick up a pair of these from his work at a full locker and uh, I got an 11 and a half and uh, they fit perfectly. I think I prefer these, prefer to wear them with socks because uh, even though I have really short toenails already, it already clipped, I don't know why, but it was clipping up here around the toe box right there. Here's a quick 360. Uh, aesthetically, I'm not a huge fan of how the bubbly look of the foam, the boost foam itself, but uh, I'm all about the comfort, don't really care what it looks like. Um, you got this tech fit tech like material all along the top, really soft material. You got rubber pieces all around the shoe just to give you some uh, overall support. And then you got some uh, suede pieces along the back right here. You also got uh, the Adidas brand right there in plastic. Here's the suede heel right there. It's really soft. The tongue is really padded as well. There's four sections that are padded right on the tongue right there. Uh, came with extra laces. Here's the orange one and the blue one as well. And uh, it's really funny. These laces are stretchy as well. It's, it's really interesting. Um, it's like the opposite of the Kevlar laces. The Kevlar laces don't stretch at all in the Nike Elite series. These ones are kind of stretchy. As far as the insole goes, there is no insole. You can't pull that out. That's a uh, straight one layer of cloth straight into the boost foam. You see all the way inside. Here's a quick look at the bottom. I wonder what would happen if they made this all black rubber. I mean, is it really that hard? Um, I think it would add uh, some durability to the shoe itself. But I thought they would make that. That's a black piece already. I thought they would make this a black piece as well, but they didn't. Anyway, um, the gray parts right here is really soft as well. It's, more, it's a little harder than I thought it would be, but uh, it's still really fragile in my opinion. So uh, if you really wanted to run in these, I definitely don't recommend it. There's no traction at all, I don't think. Um, not too much support either. There you go. And um, what else did I want to say? Here's some green laces that I found in my box of laces. A quick note about the cushioning: um, when you, it is full length boost, but uh, when I was wearing it, the forefoot right here it wasn't as responsive personally. Maybe it's just my foot. The cushioning wasn't as responsive as the middle and the back heel right here. It's like uh, this part is rebounding a little similar to Zoom Air. And this part gives me like nothing. But uh, when I press on it on the outside, it rebounds. So uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe the shoe is just built that way. I, I've tried on the running version of the Boost and uh, that's how it was. The, there was barely any f uh, forefoot cushioning. And uh, all the cushioning was in the back heel right here. But uh, overall, it's a really comfortable shoe. And uh, let me just throw these guys on feet and uh, see what you guys think. So uh, here they are on feet. Let me know what you guys think. Really comfortable shoe. There's a lot of bounce to that heel. I'm curious how long that would last. Again, there's barely any forefoot cushioning. It's really close to the ground. Uh, that's really based on your opinion whether you like forefoot cushioning or not. But uh, it is there, as you can see evidently right there. The fit is uh, better than a Roshi in my opinion. I can't wear the Roshis because of the width of my left foot. And uh, these fit perfectly fine. I don't think they look as good unlaced in these ones right here. I think the Roshis you can get away with because they have a shorter lace. I mean, unless I get a shorter lace with these ones. I don't think I can leave it like this. It'll probably just bug me. Again, these sections are really padded. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. There's one, two, three, four padded sections right there. Really padded tongue, padded heel on the back as well. Uh, just really soft shoe in general. Definitely check it out. Uh, I grabbed these on, on my buddy's discount, so uh, 
They retail for 150 Canadian. I think they retail for 120 USD. So uh, if you get a chance to grab these at discount, definitely do so. You won't regret it. But uh, full price wise, I'd recommend just waiting it out. Really comfortable shoe though. Something to just uh, walk around in. Uh, I would definitely wouldn't recommend it for exercise. But uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, remember to thumbs up and comment. And uh, catch you guys later. Peace.